a young soldier gone too soon. Went to Lee, went to CLAC, and graduated from Cooper. Killed in action during his second tour in Iraq over 10 years ago. There are people who are, you know, real heroes that have served our community. United States Army Sergeant Ruben Marcus Fernandez. The memory and name now looking for a permanent home in Abilene. I thought, what better way to honor him than to put his name on that school? With schools like Jackson and Lee Elementary, named after figures of Confederate soldiers, cousin Ruben De La Garza Jr. says there's people to honor in this time period that accurately reflects the community of Abilene. If we're going to change a name anyway, let's change it and honor a local hero who gave his life for our country and grew up right here in our community, actually walked those halls. Elizabeth Smizer, who's helped lead the grassroots movements on the school name changes, said the community has a history of not always representing voices from our minority communities. And I think this would be very inspirational for members of the Latino community or the African American community to see someone whose story perhaps hasn't been told. She says there's no official protocol on submitting a name. Um, they're still working on hammering out the actual policy. Ruben says the district said criteria for school name changes will come in August. In the eyes of our family, he met the criteria a long time ago. In Abilene, Kevin Clack, KRBC, Abilene's local news.